Hey guys, welcome back to another Camp Buyers and Conversation. My name is Sam, I'm with Overland Rough Racks. Last time we talked about accessories and today we'll be talking about power. One of the most important things you'll find when you're camping or overlanding that you're gonna need is power. When we built this rack, we decided that I wanted a power station, if you will, and it's almost been a labor of love for two years. I started out with what I thought was correct. And as I got into this, this flight of you know overlanding, I found out that there's a lot of different ways to do it. Because we have a versatile rack, we decided to take a molly panel and we made it into what we'll call our power panel. Where we started out initially with switches, I still use one for main for power. I can turn on my switch pro like that, turns on the system and I'm ready to go. What I've done here is I've actually split the truck in half. This half, back half, is all my day use power when I'm out camping, overlanding. I can make a stop, I can turn on hot water, I can turn on lights at night. That's the back end. We also have an additional switch pro, which we'll show you in a few minutes, in the front that runs all my lights, which is on my main battery. So starting with switch pro, I went to switch pro and asked them, you know, I need something, I need more switches. They, they said they have a 12 position switch pro. So we jumped on it, and when I run off the back here, I run my hot water, I have a heating element buried into the tank. Again, a modular tank that fits on a rack. I started out with these flip switches before to run my water. Now with the built-in switch pro and having a heavy amp circuit, we can actually run them right here. I hit this button, turns on a heating element, and now I have hot water in about 20 minutes with no propane. I run underglow lights, hit these on. Well, that gives me, that gives me lights underneath the, uh, the bed show up at night, can't see anything, cooking, so many uses. The power's been super effective for me. And in splitting this up, back half of the truck, I have on top of my tent, I have 170 uh, watts of solar, pulls down through the tent, goes through a mouse hole through the modular rack system, comes down and feeds right here. If you take a look here, we have a loom here. That now runs to a secondary battery. So as I'm pulling power out of here, I'm trickling in on the top. So now I have this complete switching center here and it runs my entire back half. We have the brain here, and that runs the whole Switch Pro. It's waterproof, so I can run it out here. All my connections are in the back, are waterproofed and heat sealed. I have an amp meter in here. that tells me what, uh, how many uh, amps my battery are at. I have USB connectors, and you'll find that these are super, super useful. Charging up phones, iPads, radios, what have you. And they're 3.0 chargers, so they tend to go faster. I have my 12 volt positions here. Blow up mattresses, for example. A lot of they have a, a cigarette lighter adapter. We use them there. And what's cool about this is I can run everything right here. And this is on, this is like my, con, my command center side. Walk around the other side here and I'll show you what we can do from the other side. We have a slave unit to the main unit on the other side. So if I'm over here and I'm kind of doing something, I need light, I hit the underglow and same activity on that side of the rig you can do on this side, whether it's heating up the water, turning on our light, turn on an air compressor, because we also can, if you listen here, there's my air compressor. I can actually have an air compressor hooked up to pressurize my water after it's heated up, and now I got myself a hot shower. Now, the, the fun thing here is, is that we also have another switch pro, and keep in mind, guys, my truck, you, I have everything on it. It's up to you to decide what you want on the truck, because the rack's so versatile, you may not want to have as many lights and the heating element, what have you. I want to show everybody the possibilities what our rig can do. Okay, check this out. Inside, this is my second Switch Pro. And again, I said I, I like lights, so I have additional Switch Pro up eight position in the front, and that runs off what we'll call the house battery. Anything running while the truck's running, my uh, running lights, it'll be my rock lights, it'll be my ditch lights, my chase light. And again, anything running off the house battery runs off the front Switch Pro. Now that we talked about the multiple switch pros that I have here, there's some safety precautions that, that I instilled in the beginning as well. Uh, because it's outside here, if you can see I have a master switch here. I can actually turn the system on and off, turns it off here. I have also a, a breaker up at the battery. So if I'm leaving for a long period of time, one would think this is vulnerable. In some degree it really is because it's open. So what we would do here now, I can turn this off here and this becomes inoperable. It'll shut off in a second, there you go. Again, you want to have safety first. You don't want to have it live. You can leave it for a while. People can mess with it. There could be a fire. You just never know. So from a safety perspective, I take care of it here, also down at the battery. And Switch Bros has been a real good option for me where they're, they're middle of the market here in terms of price-wise, but features, 
they've been really good to me so uh, I chose them because it's simple uh, very easy to install and uh, I've had a great time working with them. Hey guys thanks for checking out this video of our power system I enjoy talking to you about it today if you have any questions comment below and uh, wait for the next episode we got something cool coming up for you.